hand. Oof. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that actually worked. <laughs> For the last couple of years, I've been playing Veil on and off on PC VR, and now it's finally coming to Quest 2 and 3 after a brief stint via App Lab. And today, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the official release build which I've been testing, and there's also a pretty cool giveaway down in the video description. To be clear, this video is sponsored by the developers in the form of a giveaway, but as always, my thoughts are my own. The giveaway consists of a top spec gaming PC featuring a 4080 Super, an i9 14th generation processor, 32 gigs of DDR5 RAM and a 2TB SSD. And not only that, you could win one of 10 MetaQuest 3s plus Veil Care packages with exclusive merch, a PlayStation with the devs and an in-game currency pack. So I think you agree that is quite a lot and you have a good chance of winning something, so be sure to check out the link. But moving on now, we're here to discuss if Veil is a game worth your time and money. To give you a full picture of Veil, it launched on PC VR back in 2022. It was hyped as the next big thing for competitive first person shooters in the esports space, and aside from some hardcore players, it never quite grabbed a foothold in the wider VR community. But for me personally, it had everything going for it. So when the news reached me it was coming to Quest, which obviously makes sense due to now being able to reach a wider audience. But what is the cost of taking a really good first person PC VR game onto a standalone device? On PC VR the gun physics were fantastic and the graphics were awesome. The developers made a game that was focused on communication with their own community. But does a release on a standalone device warrant a purchase? Well I'm pleased to say that these guys have done a stellar job of porting the game and there's clearly been a lot of updates since I last jumped in on PC VR. Ah. Two down. Ah, he's got me missed death wish. There's tons of customization for loadouts, there's more maps which vary in size, and the weapons feel just as good as they did on PC. Personally, I love teaming up with my community in games like this, using private lobbies, and this game absolutely delivered on the fun factor. I also like the way they put a lot of work into the pre-game lobbies, so you can simply hang out, play basketball, ice hockey, and practice with all of the weapons and all of the loadouts in the shooting range. You have game modes such as straight up all the all deathmatch, team deathmatch, 1v1 with pistols and knives only, hardpoint, artifact, which sees one team plant a device while the other defends, and a really cool low gravity mode, Featuring bolt action rifles. Where's the ammo? What's the situation? Ah, oh, leave it. What do you think? You like that? Through the air. That was beautiful, that was. There is also character customization, which is most welcome, as I'm not the biggest fan of the black and white look of the opposing teams, but during the gameplay, it actually makes it easy to figure out who the enemy are and prevent team killing. The shooting is really satisfying, as well as the haptics, and it supports cross-platform play. But with all that being said, how much fun is it? Before I go any further, a quick thank you to my community who have been playing with me and testing the game's online features, and we all came away similarly impressed. This game pretty much has it all and ticks a lot of boxes you would expect from, say, a flat screen FPS, but now in VR. The menus are possibly the highest resolution menus I've ever seen on Quest, and while the overall look of the levels have taken a graphical hit in terms of sharpness, as you would expect, the weapons definitely haven't. Everything feels super solid and performs as you'd expect, and the action is satisfying. Now one thing Quest games vary on is in-game voice chat quality, but that wasn't an issue here at all, and setting up a match was super simple. The game also has leveling unlocks to keep players engaged, and personally I feel Vale has now hit its stride, but it's really only the beginning for the game. With more players will come more improvements and more ideas from their community, and as it stands currently, I would give it a buy recommendation if you're looking for a serious online FPS focused on team tactics. After watching this video and you do think you want to pick up Veil, vale, please use my code to save 30%, which also can be found down in the video description, and I'll also pin it to the comments underneath this video. I hope you get to check it out. If you do, let me know down in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one. Oh, there's a tortoise there. Don't kill me. Oh, Why is it? Look at the tortoise. Oh, man.